Hey guys, so last month I took this photo of the Milky Way, which people seem to really like, and I really enjoyed taking it, it was super fun. And what I want to do tonight is basically take it again, um, because it looks really great on Instagram, but unfortunately when you blow it up, it's quite noisy, because uh, I didn't take calibration frames, and I really love that photo and I want to get it on, on a big metal print. So I thought I'd walk you through exactly what I'm going to do. So equipment that I'm going to use for this tonight, the newer um, carbon fiber tripod, the Skywatcher Star Adventure Pro, uh, using the declination bracket um, with a ball head on top, slightly unconventional. Got a stock Canon EOS uh, 80D um, with a Samyang 14 millimeter lens. On top here, I've got uh, a remote uh, shutter release uh, cable effectively. Uh, I also have the remote for it so I can use it wirelessly so I can check on what's uh, how many shots are going uh, while I'm inside rather than having that traditional cable attached which I think is really handy. We're expecting some dew tonight so I do have a dew heater strap here which is just the USB type and I've got uh, my power bank down here which I'll show you in a minute. So I like to use the declination bracket rather than the ball head adapter uh, because I find it just gives a lot better balance and you can do longer exposures, especially with this lens which is quite heavy and protrudes a decent distance out. Uh, it just makes it a little bit easier to balance. So I'm just going to loosen the clutch here and, and check how our balance is. So we're actually looking pretty good. I've got this set up from last time. You can see that counterweight is just a little way down the shaft, and so if you're just using that regular ball head adapter, it's not uh, not going to be quite as good. It can be really tricky with, um, with camera lenses and a dew strap because you can obviously affect the focus. That's really the, really the main place to put the dew strap. So what I find, take the cover off with this Samyang lens, you actually can avoid the focus ring altogether and put it on the lens shade. So yeah, we want to avoid putting it on this focus ring uh, and aperture adjustment. So I'm um, going to try and put it on this lens shade here. Um, always good to do this before it gets too dark so you can see what you're doing. And if you do affect the focus, it's not a big deal because we're going to focus later anyway. But that's looking pretty good. Uh, we just want to check that this is not uh, getting in our frame at all. So. Just gonna flick camera on, have a look through there, and turn up the exposure. And that's looking pretty good. Clearly, um, that's not affecting our image at all. So that's pretty much it for the setup. I'm gonna do a separate video where I run through the setup really from start to finish and some tips and tricks. Um, so right now, all we have to do is uh, sit back, maybe have some food and wait for nightfall, get polar aligned and away we go. Now it's just a matter of getting our target framed up. I had a first guess, and as you can see, done pretty well. Um, just need to get the Milky Way slightly more up into the center, but that's not bad for first guess. I'm just gonna make a quick adjustment and we'll try again. So here it is all framed up nicely, and that's gonna look pretty much exactly like what I had earlier. I'll, I'll put that side by side so you can see. Um, I really like this diagonal because you get the row of Yuki 
complex in there really nicely and I just think it adds a lot of interest uh, with the diagonal, it's uh, a little bit different, it seems a bit more powerful in some way, so I really like this framing. So now I'm just going to play with some exposure settings, I think we're probably going to aim for about two to three minutes exposure time and hopefully about ISO 800, we'll keep that dynamic range nice and high and see what we get. <laughs> 